any gifts, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. The lighting is really weird where I'm sitting, but I just got a Starbucks. I got Grande Iced Coffee, No Classic, Vanilla Sweet Cream Cold Foam, two pumps chestnut praline syrup in the cold foam, and then the praline toppings. This is so good. I didn't add any milk because it can kind of get a little bit too sweet at that point, but this is good. And then I got egg white bites that I already ate because I was starving. I'm in the parking lot. I'm getting my nails done with Maya. I'm waiting on Maya to get here. Um, I got here early just so I would have enough time to go to Starbucks, get breakfast, and eat the food that I was getting. But I'm getting a pedicure. I don't get my nails done, so I'm not getting a manicure, but she is. She's actually going to New York, I think, next weekend. So she's getting a manicure and a pedicure for that trip. So I'm just going to get a pedicure, but I think I'm going to get the green color that I got to... Like not the last time but the time before that because I really like the color and it's December The holidays are coming up. So I think I'm gonna get green again and I'm just obsessed with that green color I don't know what it is. I'm just so obsessed with it Let me actually track her See where she is. Do you guys have your friends locations? My other friend Taylor that I work with she's in Boston right now Okay, she's almost here. Okay, I'm gonna um, wait on Maya, go in, get a pedicure, and I will talk to you guys after. Just picked up some fresh kitchen for us for lunch. I'll show you what I get when I get home. Today is an errand running day. I am on my way to Trader Joe's right now. And then I'll come back home, drop the groceries off, and then go to Costco it's that weekend. It's like the full restock weekend, which I'm excited about to restock and I want to see what types of holiday stuff Trader Joe's still has in stock or has because I want to pick it up. The roads are super bumpy but you guys love my restock videos, my grocery hauls, Trader Joe's hauls, Costco hauls so I'm going to include that in the vlog. This is going to be Trader Joe's haul, Costco haul, stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's like two o'clock. So I don't know how busy it's gonna be. Usually Saturdays and Sundays are busy at Trader Joe's, but those are really like the only days that I have to go because I go to work. I have like obligations after work. Like I like to work out and then cook dinner and then shower and go to bed. So I would have to take away from a certain area of my life basically. Like I would have to take away working out to go to these stores. So I'd rather just deal with the crowd on the weekends so that way I don't take away from certain things that are a part of my weekly schedule. So this is where we're going today, Trader Joe's and Costco. from Trader Joe's. It's a pretty big haul. So I'm gonna start over here. Got these ciabatta rolls. I haven't tried these before, but I've seen them on TikTok with 
some type of bruschetta. So I got this bruschetta sauce and fresh mozzarella. So I thought that would be fun to try. I saw this in the holiday area where it had all of the Christmas slash holiday stuff. It was mistletoe and I just had to get it. Hash browns, got two of these. This is one of my favorite breakfasts to have on the weekends with avocado and egg. I got this hand and body cream. My manager actually told me about this. She, sh she just got it on Friday and I keep hand cream at my desk at work and it's running low so I thought I would just pick this one up. She said it's really good so I got that. So thank you Michelle when you watch this. I got four ginger shots. You guys know my obsession with the Trader Joe's ginger shots. They're super cheap and they're really good. Artichoke and jalapeno dip. This is so good with these non-crackers. So I just discovered these non-crackers last time I went to Trader Joe's and it, they're really good with this dip. So I got two boxes of those. I got a cucumber for a smoothie. This I have never tried. It's roasted vegetables, I think. It tells you what vegetables are in it. It's like sweet potato, Yukon potatoes, Brussels sprouts, red onion, zucchini, yellow squash, peppers. So I thought it would be good as a dinner side. Chunky guacamole, I always pick this up. Buffalo style chicken dip. I haven't gotten this in a little while, so I wanted to pick it up again just to have. Buffalo burgers, these are really good, so I got some of those. We needed more avocado oil, so I got some more of this. It's actually the cheapest I can find at Trader Joe's, and this is the oil that we cook with. Crushed ginger for smoothies. Center cut filet, I got two of those. We'll vacuum seal. Maybe like one or both of them. Maybe we'll have some steak for dinner this weekend. Spinach for smoothies. Almond butter almonds. I got three of these. These are really good. Mango. Frozen mango for smoothies. Sweet potato gnocchi. I got two of those. Sweet potato fries for the burgers. And then I picked up some new or some more seasoning. Got this 21 seasoning salute. This is what I use to season our meal prep. It's really good. More garlic powder and everything but the bagel. I got three bags of the everything but the elote chips. These are really good with that chunky guacamole that I got and also with chipotle bowls. So I get three of those. Gorgonzola gnocchi. I like this with the steak, fried rice, and orange chicken, two of each. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna put this all away and then we're going to Costco. Okay, we just got home from Costco and I wanted to do a Costco haul. Let's start over here. I mean, we got toilet paper, Tide Pods, get eggs. So these are the eggs that we get. Really good. 
We're gonna try these mini tacos out. I think they're just chicken and cheese. Got these stuffed bell peppers with ground beef and rice. These are really good and they also reheat pretty well, but they're so good. Christian saw this, um, he went with me. And we're gonna try it out with crackers, I guess. I think we got these two pair with it. We have those non-crackers, but these are good too, just non-dippers. It's like a snack, I guess. <laughs> Ground beef, this is what I use to meal prep. Ground turkey, use it to meal prep as well. Salmon, this is really good salmon. It's with basil pesto butter and it, when you cook it in the oven, it just melts over top of it and it's really good. This is new, we've never tried this, but I thought it'd be a great, or Christian actually grabbed it. Thought it'd be a great lunch for tomorrow. Just an Asian wrap with rotisserie chicken chicken tortilla soup never tried this but it looks pretty good comes with two containers some chicken breast this comes vacuum sealed as well use this for dinner praline pecans these were at my dad's house and we tried them on thanksgiving and they were so good and then a big bag of boom chicka pop this is really good kettle corn and they sell really big bags at costco and Christian loves this as well. So that's the Costco haul. Gonna put this stuff away. Also, if you missed my last vlog, we put up our Christmas tree last weekend. So here it is. Okay, I'm gonna put up the mistletoe that I got from Trader Joe's today. I'm just gonna tape it up there because I don't have a thumbtack or a nail or anything. And I think I'm gonna put it up above that outside door. I guess. Or oh, that looks stupid. Maybe I'll just put it up there. I don't know. We'll see. It's a little off center. Can you stand back there and tell me if it. You want to get it straight? Let me see, honey. Okay. Is it straight? No, a little to the left. Like an inch to the left. Yeah, it's straight right there. But you could see the tape in the block. Yeah, flatten the tape out. <laughs> Cute. Okay, I just got a package in from Blue Bottle Coffee. This is actually my favorite espresso I have tried with my machine. These were the first espresso beans that I tried from Blue Bottle. They're actually my favorite, so I decided to repurchase them. I got Giant Steps, which is actually a coffee bean and not an espresso bean. And I don't know how well it's gonna work with this machine, but I really liked the notes of cocoa, toasted marshmallow, and graham cracker. That sounds so good to me. So I wanted to try it, but it is a coffee bean. So I don't know how well coffee beans are gonna work with a espresso machine, but we'll see. But this one from Blue Bottle, incredible. And you can buy them in small bags. They did just do a sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, so that's why I picked these up. But I'm gonna try putting the Giant Steps blend in my machine. We'll see how it works. I think I have a little bit of the Starbucks beans left in here, but I'm just gonna clean this out and pour this in it okay it's 7 15 we're we're not gonna go pick anything up for dinner i think we're just gonna eat what we have so we're gonna have kind of a i guess a weird combination i mean it's a wrap and soup but it's an asian wrap and chicken tortilla soup so it might be a little bit weird of a combination i wanted to put you on my tripod so that's what we're doing for dinner and i've had this new zealand sauvignon blanc from trader joe's in my fridge for like over a month from the last time I went to Trader Joe's that our friend Sam recommended to us and I still haven't tried it. Never stood so high on my tippy toes in my life. 
this is the Sauvignon Blanc that I'm trying from Trader Joe's. Let me read it to you. I taste the cat piss. <laughs> cat pee is a note that they that they describe wine. No way. I swear to God. Did you guys know that cat pee a flavor note? Like that's literally what uh, it's called. A flavor note is a scent that they A use. scent or a taste. And a taste, yeah. Okay, people use cat pee as a descriptor for wine. So I did not know that. What what wine? Do what it what is it called? Sommeliers? use cat pee as a descriptor for wine. <laughs> it's true. Wait, okay, yeah. So, what is it? So here's a list of, yeah, a smell descriptor Water often box. used to describe a Sauvignon Blanc. They say that cat's pee is a smell descriptor often used to describe Sauvignon Blanc. I literally see it. Why don't I lie to you? I told you I went to so many trainings for, for wine. New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc is famous, famous for its signature cat pee on a gooseberry bush flavor. Yeah. So I guess that's what it is. The gooseberry notes is whenever a wine has gooseberry notes, that means cat pee notes. No, it's, I mean, that's what people say. Yeah. It's when it has gooseberry in it. Okay, it's funny.